hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for Rutek. so in last video we upgraded our nothing phone one with the latest update of nothing OS 2.0.5 it is the same android 13 update nothing has started android 14 beta testing program for selected users but i am not lucky guy of them but why to worry when we have great developer community for development of nothing phone one Pixis OS community has released the beta 2 and 14 based Pixis OS. Flashing process is simple. Your device must be above on any nothing OS version 2.0 plus with the unlocked boot loader of your device. If you don't know how to unlock your device, please follow the link of video tutorial given under the video description. USB device debugging option must be enabled under the developer setting. You need the Windows PC with all the latest fastboot drivers. Today in this video we will show you how to flash this ROM in short, what's working in the ROM including the glyph and the camera, we will see all the Android photo features are available in this build or not along with customizations offered by this ROM. We also did small performance comparison of this build with the stock nothing OS. Finally at the last I shown major bugs so you can decide is it really worth to use this ROM as a daily driver or not with my unbiased final verdict. So without skipping any part of this video, please watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. On the new adventure. Let's start with the flashing process. Download the full ROM zip file, place it in the Windows Platform Tools folder. Connect the phone to the PC, open CMD window in the same folder. Now type ADB devices, accept the USB debugging prompt. If phone gets detected, now type ADB reboot bootloader. Phone will boot to this screen. Now in the CMD type fastboot dash W. This will format your phone. Now type fastboot update and drag the ROM zip file in the CMD window. Now flashing of ROM will get start. All the flashing process will take 15 to 20 minutes. During flashing process, phone must boot to this fastboot D mode screen of Pixis OS. Once flashing ends, phone automatically reboots to the Pixis OS Android 14. ROM comes with the default launcher of the Pixel launcher from the Google. Let's first complete the setup and then jump to the About Device section. So this is the Pixis OS version 7.0, built on the 5th November. Both the Android 14 version and the Pixis OS version shows the same new Android 14 interesting easter egg. Security patch of this update is of October 2023 while nothing was 2.0.5 was on the November security patches. Kernel version is Pixis 5.4.249. Build date of this ROM is latest 5th November 2023. Now if you ask me what's working, any major issues are there, in my opinion everything is working like Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, GPS, NFC, Bluetooth devices with the HD audio connections, VL10 5G incoming and outgoing calls with the call recording. These all things are tested and working with the testable applications like device hardware info and sensors. The best thing I like about this ROM is that the reverse wireless charging is also working which is not available in any of custom ROM. Bugs and issues will be discussed at the end of this video, so don't go anywhere, stay tuned till the end. Now let's check out the signature features of Nothing Phone 1. First one is the Glyph Composer. So this one is the same like the old Android 13 Glyph Composer. Lots of Glyph presets are available, but still they are not synchronized with the stock ringtones. All are working perfectly with the incoming calls. Similarly, all the notifications, ringtone presets are also working good. We can able to disable app specific glyph notifications to here using the toggle setting. Glyph volume indicator is also available here and it's working perfectly. Flip to glyph feature is available, but the animation pops up somewhat late after flipping the phone. Music visualizer is working very well with the music playbacks. So basically glyph composer is fully working in this custom ROM. ROM comes with the latest glyph camera application 12.0.01. In the camera, most of the things are working, but the non-working things are discussed under the bug section of the video, so watch this video till the end. Photos mode has the new motion photo mode and it's working perfectly. Both the 12 and 50 megapixel settings are working. Camera has the new setting look of new Nothing OS camera of Nothing OS 2.0 Plus. 
for video recording with the 4K is working. 60fps is only working for the 180p and 720p resolution. Both the HDR and video stabilization settings are working. Glee flashlight is not working, but you can use the Glee flashlight tile available under the quick setting panel to enable flash for the video recording purpose. All the wide angle camera modes are working good. Under more setting, most of the things are working good like expert mode, macro mode and panorama mode. Portrait modes are working, but it has some flaws that we will discuss under the bug section. Recording light setting is available, but there is no blinking of camcorder light on the back while shooting video, which is known bug of all custom ROMs. Now let's check out the performance. ROM is very snappy, same like latest nothing was 2.0.5. But when I did the Geekbench performance testing, I got somewhat lower results than the average Geekbench database. Like for CPU, you got the score of 895 and 2871 for the single and multi-core respectively. But the GPU performance for OpenGL seems closer to the Geekbench average database, which was 2061 and 2259 for the OpenGL and Hulkan graphics respectively. But don't worry, you will not feel any kind of lag anywhere in the phone. Now let's check out all the Android 14 features available in this ROM or not. First interesting thing of Android 14 is the new lock screen widgets. They are available under the wallpaper and style setting. Here we get the bunch of different clocks and they are looking very nice when double line clock setting and always on display has been enabled under the lock screen setting. Next thing is the new AI generated wallpapers. They are also working well. By using this you can generate your own preferences wallpaper. Emojis wallpaper is one of my most favorite part of the Android 14. Here we can add any emojis, their patterns and colors. After applying the wallpaper while scrolling and while unlocking the phone, they give the best effect of animations. Next new linear font QS panel tile is available under the quick setting panel. It helps us to change the font on the go. Under the accessibility setting, we get the new magnification gestures, which now has the settings to magnify the specific part of the screen also. The new camera flash and the screen flash are also available here, and they are working very good, especially screen flash with the different color looks cool. New monochrome theme is available under the QS panel tile as a part of digital well-being application and I think it's a better option to save the battery under emergency situation and it's better than the nightlight feature. Now let's check out the ROM side added features in the ROM. ROM is in the initial stages of beta development so no lots of features are available here but under the theming tab we get the lots of theme styles ascent color source setting or we can apply our own ascent colors too. Chroma and luminance slider setting available and they will help to increase the quality of display themes. Pure black theme setting is available and it's working well. Different setting style toggle is available but it's limited to only two styles. Under the PIGGIS OS laboratory setting, who gets the unlock higher FPS setting and ignore windows secure flag toggle. Second one is working but the higher FPS setting I did not test it until now. Under the system and gesture setting, we get all the pixel gestures along with the different fonts under the display setting of the phone. So basically ROM is full of basic customizations without any bloatwares. Now comes the most important part of this video that is bugs. It seems that the assistant needed additional data is not getting downloaded. When I tried to do it, it always got failed so I can't able to use the voice assistant in this ROM. When you first time boots your ROM, it may show you no internet connection signal, but don't worry, it's solvable. Just go to the network setting, there go to the internet, then go to the carrier setting, there search for APN setting and change it to the internet. This issue may be carrier dependent, so some users may be face it or may not. Let's check out some camera bugs. Under the video recording, no slow motion and time lapse are working. Camcorder light is not working on the back of the phone during the video recording. Portrait mode photos are only working for the main camera. For selfie camera, it's not able to take portrait shots. Next bug is strange. When you try to access the Android 14 new Easter egg, that time back gesture navigations are not working. So don't use the immersive navigation setting while checking the Easter egg. 
otherwise to go back you need to only restart your phone so what is my final verdict these bugs are not so heavy anyone can bear with these bugs this build has the rock solid performance with the clean look so i definitely recommend it to use it as a daily driver soon developer will add more features day by day so that's it for today guys hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye